Hey, with my 1.1.0 being out, I thought I'd do a quick screencast to demonstrate all the new features that it has. So, first things off, you open up the connection dialog and you see that it was revamped a bit. In a better direction, I'd see. It now fits in more profiles because we've used label pictures now. We've also included some default mods, like Avala, Ikea, Artwolf, along with others. Uh, this is a great move because new players, new who are new to modding, will be able to discover mods right away instead of being presented with a blank dialog and a mod server and port number that they have to fill in what they don't know. Uh, besides that, if you notice, you can also drag these about however you want, make a brighter picture. Just don't make it to be a masterpiece because the Location of these isn't saved. So, first things off, let's connect to Ikea. Now, what you'll notice at first is that the command color changed. It used to be yellow, now it's kind of greenish now. Why did it change? It changed because you can now customize it in settings. If you go to settings, you can go to color view and there we go command background color command foreground if you want to set it back to yellow you can just click here select any yellow you'd like let's not make this too dark I mean too bright save well, and there we go nice yellow color the next change that you'll notice is that the command instead of being on its own line is on a previous line this reduces space and makes things look much nicer. Um, what else changed? Oh, we go to menu bar. You can click on settings, you can click on input line, oh, actually general, sorry, right here. You can disable toolbar, toolbar is the bottom bar, and you can click on show menu bar. Save it and voila, look at how much real estate have you gained on top. Menu bar comes with the common options. Play to connect, you can disconnect, reconnect, Toolbox has the script editor, has the notepad, and it has the load replay button. Options has the preference now, help, a whole bunch of help links, and then about link. You'll notice also that there are key wings now. For example, I can press Alt E, close this, press Alt E, and there we go, the script dialog will open for me. Uh, what else changed? Oh yes, the input line. We made it now to be auto-resizable and multi-line. By auto-resizable, I mean that if you type a really, really, really long text, it will go into the second line. Like that. This is really helpful, for example, in roleplay when you want to type up a really long thing, and you can all see it, and you can see all of it at once. Now, besides going re auto resizable, it allows multiple commands to be inserted. So you can do, for example, hello, and then you can press shift enter, not enter, but shift enter, hi, and it will send those two commands for me right at once. Um, if you want to navigate between the lines, you can press control up or control down to go between lines, and of course, left, right to move the cursor left and right between them. Um, what else? Oh yes, if you're playing on Avalon DE or you're playing in any IRE game like Ikea, Italia, Imperial, Listernia, Bitchemia, we have the composer working now. The composer is something that opens up when you go to write in the letter. For example, if you want to do write manuscript Ta-da! Instead of this editor, you can also use this editor. As you see, the text is the same, but it is much easier to enter text here because you can go to a new line, type in stuff. You can also add stuff easily, which is much easier than the built-in one. Um, this also enables some really nice things like ASCII art. For example, if you want to paste some ASCII art here, let's search on Google for some. Now would you look at that Google, the Google logo changes. 
can, whoops, let's paste that into our journal and hope nobody sees it. There we go, copy that, paste it into our journal, see it still looks fine, a uh, blank line on top, just so it doesn't get messed up, click save, and then read, and hey, would you look at that, our ASCII art got translated perfectly into the mud, makes doing the various things much much easier, don't you agree? And what else is notable? Oh yes, some of the fixes that we had are is that options, preferences, and input line command separator now it gets saved when you quit, so you can change it. For example, something like this. Uh, so you can do a smiley mode just fine. Save it, and it'll still save. And also, what was changed is that. Key bindings now stay in their groups. Before they had to, a tendency to jump out of their group, but now they're saved properly. And that's about it for a casual overview. I'll probably make several videos after this on how to use the new features, new scripting features like ATCP, MXP, and uh, DB frontend after this. And that's it. And of course, again, Mudlet is a free mud client available for Windows. Mac and Linux, download for free at model.org. That's it, have fun.